Welcome to a coral reef, one of the planet's most diverse ecosystems. Here, 25% of all marine species are found sometime during their life. In warm, clear waters, countless plants and animals live together. Although they can be seen from space, coral reefs are built by tiny creatures. They are known as coral polyps, the engineers of a coral reef. After more than a century of research, we have discovered how corals build the limestone that makes up the reef. The answer is a highly successful partnership between corals and algae. The algae grow inside the coral and they feed the coral by turning sunlight into food. In turn, the coral feeds its symbiotic algae with waste products. This partnership gives corals the energy they need to build vast reefs. The result is an ecosystem with all kinds of creatures, in all shapes and sizes. Amongst them are soft corals, which expand their tentacles in the morning sun. And zoanthids, stony coral relatives which display the most exquisite colors. Next to many corals, we find mobile creatures such as sea snails. Snails form the cleaning crew of a reef, removing algae and dead organisms. Other cleaners are starfish, which crawl through the reef looking for food. The sand-sifting starfish even burrows itself, to find food and to hide from predators. Asterina are tiny starfish which multiply by tearing off their limbs. These grow into new individuals. Species such as brittle stars often hide between coral branches and capture whatever food they can get. Related to starfish, sea urchins use water-filled tube feed for locomotion. Their sharp spines help fend off hungry predators. A spaghetti worm, named after its long tentacles, burrows itself in the sand. The worm's long tentacles constantly sweep the ocean floor looking for food. Small creatures such as the spaghetti worm are highly important in the marine food web. Also powered by symbiotic algae are anemones in many colors. These anemones love to snack on the occasional shrimp passing by. Rivaling anemones in coloration are sea cucumbers, which feed on plankton. Other species literally eat the sand and excrete it as white as snow. The incredible biodiversity found on a coral reef is due to the many shapes and sizes of stony corals. They build a complex 3D structure with many niches for species to exist.
Often overlooked are microscopic plants and animals, which form a critical component of a coral reef. Tiny worms and snails constantly recycle dead organic matter. The constant recycling of organic matter allows these ecosystems to survive in an ocean with few available nutrients. When the night falls, a coral reef changes dramatically. At night, some corals go to sleep, whilst others expand their polyps. Moonlight makes the corals fluoresce in bright colors. In the gloom, coral tentacles display a ghostly dance. This spectacular display is not to please the onlooker though. No, the corals are preparing for their nightly hunt. At night, the reef turns into a dangerous arena where a predator meets prey. Stony corals prepare their powerful stinging tentacles, like jellyfish. Together, millions of polyps form an army of hungry, open mouths. A symbiotic crab looks out from his home, a staghorn coral. He seems to know what's coming. In the dark, unsuspecting crustaceans swim around a hungry reef. Some of them will be captured by sticky tentacles and swallowed by voracious coral polyps. More victims, caught by the greedy tentacles of an anemone. It's a genuine feast. A tiny jellyfish doesn't hesitate to take its share. The jellyfish uses its flexible arms to transport captured plankton to its mouth. Even the tiniest polyps join the massacre. But corals do not only prey on plankton, they also eat each other. By turning their stomachs inside out, they digest one another in a matter of hours. This strategy results in additional food for the winning coral, but also provides new space on the reef to colonize. A coral reef truly is a battlefield where only the toughest survive. As a new day begins for the reef, many threats loom on the horizon. One threat that is gaining attention is our plastic pollution, which suffocates marine life. Plastic from clothing, cosmetics and bottles floats into our oceans and is swallowed by many animals, including corals. 
As plastics cannot be digested properly, they build up and may eventually kill. As the long-term impact of microplastics on marine life is still unclear, it is vital that we reduce our use of plastics in everyday life. A much more pressing issue, however, is our emission of greenhouse gases, which heats up the planet. Global warming is currently devastating coral reefs. When seawater temperatures get too high during warm summers, corals expel their symbiotic algae. This results in bleached corals, which quickly starve as their algae can no longer feed them. As our reefs are dying in a time frame of decades, we lose biodiversity, fisheries, tourism and coastal protection. If we change our old ways quickly, we may be able to turn the tide. And perhaps we can save some of our planet's precious coral reefs.